hello guys welcome back wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day all right so i'm still updating you guys what is going on in nigeria today is 23 march 2021 all right so um following the attack by unknown uh like seriously the reason why i'm saying unknown uh, full any group is because this is my first time of hearing about this group okay um after the attack of the benue state governor um some days ago we remember the story okay so the update i have for you for this story is that um the chief press secretary to the governor of benue state mr teva akas has called on the security agencies to prosecute leaders of this Fulani nationality movement, okay, FUNAM, which claim responsibility for Saturday. I think it happens on Saturday. Today is, uh, today is Tuesday. Uh, which claim responsibility for Saturday's attempt to kill his principal, talking about Samuel Lottom. The attack on Lottom during a visit to his farm also attracted more condemnation yesterday as the southwest governor's forum and the christian association of nigeria fled the incident and urged security agencies to arrest the attackers okay so that is the update i have for you the reason why i'm making this um video let me quickly give you uh, the statement that was signed by one mr uma shehu who had claimed responsibility for the attack. So according to him in quote, he said, yes, we did it. The Fulani nationality movement carried out the attack. We have genuine reasons. We acted on behalf of millions of Fulani people in 15 countries. Our courageous fighters carried out this historic attack to send a great message to Otom and his collaborators. Wherever you are, once you are against Fulani, long-term interest, we shall get you down. This is a clear warning. We hope those who take us for granted will get the indisputable message. The shadow group uh, made that statement. All right. So now there are some um, extracts I want to get from uh, this story, the issue of... Uh, saturday's attack to benue state governor now um does this really mean that um, naturally the people of fulani are violent people because in this message all right the person says according to this shehu okay this funam this is my first time of hearing this particular group like seriously that we shall get you down Okay, that anytime, wherever you are, once you are against the interest, uh, the full and new long term interest, we shall get you down. All right, that we hope those who take us for granted will get the indisputable message. All right, now that is um, one of the extracts I've gotten that really made me to want to, you know, make this video and also put in my own contribution and allow you guys to put in your own contribution. Now, they came out publicly to claim responsibility for the attack. They said, yes, we did it. The Fulani Nationality Movement carried out the attack. We have genuine reasons. And according to him, he said that we acted on behalf. On behalf of who? On behalf of millions of Fulani people in 15 countries. Can you see what I am seeing? They acted on on genuine reason on behalf of millions of fulani people in 15 countries that whenever you have um whenever you want to you know uh spur the long-term interest of a fulani man that we will come after you okay so um that is by the way now let us talk about the real thing here this is a group after the attack of uh, Benue State Governor who came out publicly, I believe 
uh, uh, this is someone I don't know if the is in Nigeria or whatsoever came out publicly to um, you know accept responsibility of the attack and now people are begging the security agencies now let us look at it this way you can now see the reason whenever we see the truth uh, please this is my own personal opinion okay whenever we see the truth I, I believe we should say it the way it is yes now these are people that claim responsibility and now other people are begging the security agencies to prosecute the group a group that accept responsibility for attacking that is a terror group and now people are begging the security agencies to prosecute them yes if that were to be um, a protest nobody would tell the security agencies to go and arrest the uh, the convener of the protest yes if it was a planned protest not even a protest just by planning the protest the security agency if not the police um, it should be the DSS will go immediately after the leader of that protest now what happened when uh, the protest eventually comes the police will be busy throwing tear gas up and down yes wasting bullet that the taxpayers pays for just in the name of dispersing uh, peaceful protesters but in this other case a Fulani man that they acted on behalf of millions of Fulani in 15 countries came out to accept responsibility do you know the implication of that I believe the person must have known the implication of that it is only terrorism comes out to uh, accept uh, responsibility of a kind of attack we have been seeing it when Boko Haram strike they will release a video or audio claiming responsibility for the attack boldly so if a group like this should come out to accept responsibility of the attack do you know what it means attacking the number one chief security of a state and the security agencies are waiting for people to tell them what to do it is so so pathetic for you to know the level where we all now believe that uh, the country is just on autopilot they are catching crews that is what it means that security agencies will be back remember president Buhari said that um, he has um, ordered a probe on the attack what probe again if a, a, a group has comes out to accept responsibility for the attack what probe do we still need again on Benway State Governor's attack on Saturday that is the real issue okay guys let me know what you think I think uh, this is my own personal opinion let me know what you think on the comment section below I will see you guys in another